All right, y'all. Welcome. I'm super excited. We've been giggling behind the scenes here as we are waiting to get started. <laughs> we were talking about if we should do a dance party or just come on and say hi. I'm in a weird, funky dance party mood. So... <laughs> Um, so thanks for joining us, you guys. I am Laura, as you all know. Um, if you don't know, check out my profile, laurareich.com. But I'm super excited because I have Carrie here today, and we are going to be talking about Pinterest and Facebook bots. Woohoo! It's like a party going on. Heck yes. Like That's the best dance. things in the world, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Well, why don't you um, give us a little bit of a background on how you got started in the world of Facebook bots and why you love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. So hello, my name is Carrie Carlisle. I know I'm meeting most of you for the first time um, and I help people to automate and scale their business using tools like Facebook Messenger. And this is actually how I got started. Okay. Started on network marketing full time I have three little kids at home like can you relate to having the craziness of life trying to build your business with three little ones at home and still working I remember I was going to um, like I was trying to do my business online but I felt like if I didn't follow up with people right away I was losing leads left and right and I just didn't have the time to be able to react right away to everybody right and I was feeling like super stressed out. I was like, there has to be a way to build this business even while I'm working in my nine to five, right? And then I stumbled on messenger bots. And it was a game changer for my business personally because it was a really easy way to automate things, reply to people right away while I was in my nine to five. And it basically allowed me to have enough growth in my business to quit my full-time job back in September of 2018 and become my own boss. So that's why I love messenger bots. So Yay. yeah. And, and the cool thing is it's like one of the cheapest ways that you can automate things, even if you don't have a website, all those other things. So it doesn't have to take a lot of money, just a little bit of ingenuity. So cool. That's so awesome. Um, what is one of your biggest tips for someone who is just looking to start out into messenger bots? Maybe they're not quite sure how to get started or anything like that, but they know that they've got a baby on the hip and dinner on the oven and they have 20 messages that they're needing to reply to of potential leads and customers. <laughs> like what do they do before they go insane? <laughs> oh my God. If I had to boil it down to one tip this is the biggest thing that actually was game changing for me is creating what's called a little main menu at the bottom of your messenger it only shows up in mobile but what i strategically did was at the bottom of messenger they'd get a message right away when they um send me a message and i said hey ask your question here check the main menu to see if it can answer your question and if not i'll get back to you when I'm back online, right? But strategically, I made that menu have ways to become a lead for me, to subscribe for show notifications, to buy my products. So people were messaging me for some other reason, and then all of a sudden I was getting leads without me doing anything. So that oh was the gosh. best thing to set up That's right so smart. Girl, yeah. fix mine. <laughs> I will happily fix yours, Laura. <laughs> Perfect, because that is not how I was using mine, and that sounds way better. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so awesome. Cool. Okay, well, let's talk about the fun merger that we are putting together for you with Pinterest and Facebook automation that you've been working on, and, like, how that's changing your mindset. Like, let's start from the very beginning, right? We met, um, so other people know, we met in a mastermind group, right? Yep. Um, literally the best group I've joined this year. Like, it's mind-blowing. And, like, the support in that group is absolutely amazing. So it's been super fun to meet people just like you. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then we started kind of learning more about each other. And um, let me have you tell me or our audience, like, what got you interested in my Pinterest boot camp and what I teach people on how to do? So, like I said, I started out in network marketing. So several years ago, I had actually decided, oh, I'll use Pinterest because I was doing oils, full transparency. That's what I do for the network marketing side. So I was like, oh, Pinterest seems like the place to be. But as my business changed from doing network marketing to helping other people build their business, I didn't think that that was a platform I could use anymore, right? And then I remember you saying that it was good for anybody. And I was like, no, that can't be true. It won't work for my business. <laughs> I was basically like calling you out. <laughs> um, and then when you started talking about it, I was like, oh, no, why haven't I been using this? What in the world was I thinking? I need to hop back in and figure out how to actually do this thing. So. Perfect. Yeah. And so, okay. So how has that been working for you and your mindset? And like, cause it's so much more than just like pinning a design on the platform. Like we've dived into so many different ways to utilize this in terms of like repurposing. And again, like that automation piece. Um, so like, how has that helped you in terms of workflow and mindset. And I know we discussed the workflow. I want you to be real and honest and transparent because that's something that I want other people to realize as well too. Like that, like I, I, I will let you give that out, but let's talk about like the workflow um, and like how that's going for you. And then let's talk about the mindset. Like what shifted for you once you joined the boot camp? Yeah. So I think it was two big mindset shifts that I had. Number one, that it could actually work for my business and seeing how simple it could be. And I was making it so freaking complicated the whole time <laughs> um, <laughs> because that was the other thing. I So I, I joined a Pinterest program, a really popular one back a few years ago. And when I went through the advice I was given was pinning like a hundred times, I think every couple of days. And I like, they're like, oh, you just, yeah, no lie. They're like, oh, you can do 50 pins while your kids are sleeping for 30 minutes every night. And I, I felt so overwhelmed by what you I had. To do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like giving me goosebumps. I know, it was, it was panicking. Cause I was like, what, how? Cause they advertise it as saying like, it's only 30 minutes. Right. But how stressful is that to be like, okay, I have to do that many pins and I have to have like 20 boards. Cause I remember that's what they said I needed. And, um, it was so overwhelming. So it was oh. such a huge relief going through the boot camp to be like, okay, this can work if I set it up the right way without me wanting to pull my hair out and cry. So, yeah. That made me super excited. So where I'm at right now is this month is actually the month that I'm implementing everything that I learned in the boot camp because I just finished a launch last month. So now I'm going to go through and start building out my Pinterest. And I'm so excited to start seeing all that traffic going to my website and my Facebook lives that I'm already doing. Yeah, which is awesome. And that's something that we focus on in the boot camp and the group as well is like, you don't have to be a blogger posting up a blog every single day. You don't have to be someone that's creating 20 designs every week for new pin designs, like repurpose what you have to be able to make it work for you. Don't be pinning 50 times a day in a half hour, which I'm sure is possible. But let me just touch on the fact that if you're repinning 50 things or even pinning 50 things a day, it's not going to take you a half hour because I teach you that you need to be checking the links. You want to make sure that there's descriptions and hashtags that match your branding, like the colors, like there's so many different things that, yeah, you can do it in a half hour a day the way I teach it, but not 50 of them if you want them to be on brand and working like oh my gosh that's crazy but but yeah so I'm super excited um that you're ready to jump in and like um get going on everything and 
the biggest thing about our boot camp too that I just want to hit home on for everybody too and see what your thoughts are and um, now that you're going to be more active in it and things like that. Um, <laughs> is the fact that it's not just a course, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's a group, it's trainings. And even after the two hour boot camp that we go through live one on one with like strategies in your business, in the businesses and niches of people that are in there, is the clarity and support that you get after that as well. Like it's not just here are some videos, go through a course, right? So why don't I have you like, I know you haven't been super active because of own, your own things in your launch in um, your business, but that's the beauty of it, right? So yeah. why don't we just touch on that for a minute? Like, do you feel like that's something that you can hop back into and still get the support and um, accountability and everything you would get if it were a full course versus what I have? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I think that's the best part about it too, because you're also like you are very good at letting us know what's going on if there's updates or some new strategy. So I always feel like even though I'm not implementing it yet, that's this month, I'm still seeing what's coming through and knowing that I have it there to go back to. And I love being able to ask that question. And I can like go back and ask questions too, which is really, really nice. So I remember when I was live, it was helpful because I could ask questions specific for my business, which did provide like a ton of clarity. So I highly recommend if you can do it live, do it live because she'll answer all your questions. Um, but I feel like just as supported afterwards to know if I ask you a question in the group, I know you're going to come in and answer it exactly to me. Yep. So that's what I love. And it's spot like your brain, like kind of spawns other ideas. And then you share yeah. those ideas with us, which is even better. <laughs> it's super fun for me because even when I'm working on like my done for you clients, right, there are things that come up that's like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, let's totally do this. And so mm -hmm. there are different points where um, we will schedule and we will have unscheduled times where I go live in the group. Like, I mean, the first time I launched this boot camp was, I think, six months ago now. Um, and I still go live in the group, right? And so yep. we still go over different ways, different things. Pinterest is changing. It went public, like all these things. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get the help and the clarity and the strategies that you need just because you joined six months ago. So that's the super cool part about this as well. Um, and even a tidbit for you guys, like even if you don't join my masterclass and my boot camp, like one thing I want you guys to do is do your homework in whoever you want to train you on Pinterest. If we're not a good fit, that's totally fine. But the biggest thing is, is Pinterest has had so many changes lately. Do your due diligence and make sure that they're updating their course. Because there have been some people that have bought courses and they're like, Laura, they aren't talking about this at all. And that's, I mean, to each its own, but my thought is, is if you're going to pay me, like, to make sure you understand Pinterest in and out, like, I don't want you doing it wrong. I don't care if we met and you paid me for the boot camp five years ago, or if it's two days ago, like, mm -hmm. I want you guys to make sure that you're doing it the right way, right? Like, that's just success all around, all around. Truth. And I can attest to that because I'm still part of that same course. And I remember um, even as recent as maybe like six months ago, people complaining that it hadn't been updated. So like it was yeah. being referred to programs that weren't even allowed on Pinterest anymore. So I, yeah, that's what I love. And I remember, I even remember you made an update like right after I took boot camp too. It was something about how often you should repin something and you're like, okay, yeah. never mind. I just got the official word. This is what yeah. it is. I was like, excellent you know and it was like maybe a week later <laughs> yep. and that's the nice thing about this boot camp too is you guys are getting those real-time updates you don't have to go back to the beginning of a module in a course or anything like that like you are you just join another live stream on Facebook that with you're already using Facebook anyway right like hop in watch it catch the replay whatever works for you too so um, what is your biggest takeaway or excitement to implement for Pinterest for your business? Like what gets you 
um, all jazzed up and ready to go in terms of something you learned from the boot camp? Um, oh, that's a good question. Uh -huh. Throwing it out there, girl. <laughs> in my head, the excitement that I have about it is like this untapped potential that I just haven't been using. Reaching people in a way that I just didn't have and being able to to get traffic from it. Like it, I, I think that's what excites me. And I don't know that that's something I, well, I did learn because it was again, going back to that mindset shift yeah. of I could be doing this. And for me personally, like I've just stuck to Facebook ads, right? So the whole idea of expanding to a new platform and doing it without me crying into a little ball. <laughs> right. Excites me. So untapped potential. Mm -hmm. is the word that you used, which I love. Mm -hmm. um, I have a masterclass coming up and we go over the three undeniable reasons you need to be on Pinterest for your business. It is a free masterclass and we talk about how to utilize an untapped potential with Pinterest in your niche. Like those are literally the exact words. I feel like we're on the same wavelength here. <laughs> and I did not cheat because that's just, yeah. It was totally I didn't odd. know I was going to ask you that question. There is no way to cheat. This is all real time on the fly transparency. This is how I like it. Then, because then, you know, you get the real experience. It's not scripted. It's not like <laughs> yeah. um, robotic, right? Like it's just more fun this way. <laughs> it is way I mean, more fun this way. <laughs> Hey, I was going to say maybe for me, I don't know. I'm putting you on the spot, but. No, I have gotten myself in trouble a few times with interviews, though, with answers to questions that people weren't expecting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so cute. Like, oh. <laughs> right. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much, Carrie, for hanging out here with me today. If you guys have any questions about Facebook Messenger automation, um, or many chat because that's the platform you train on the most correct that's yep. my platform of choice I love them um, definitely reach out to Carrie I will make sure to put her link in the comments below this video um, so that you can connect with her in different ways she is absolutely stellar amazing I <laughs> I love her dearly. We have so many laughs on a weekly basis together. It's so much fun. And thank you so much for joining me in my Pinterest boot camp and this live stream. Hop on her masterclass. Yay. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much. We'll catch you all later.